OK, so today we're going to show you how you can colour code your emails as and when they come into your inbox to make them easily identifiable. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So have you ever wondered how you can colour code your emails as they come into your inbox? Well, if you've got Outlook, then this is very easy. And when I say Outlook, I mean Outlook 2016, 2019, or you're running Microsoft 365, which comes with Outlook. This is not the web version of Outlook. This is the desktop version. OK, so say if any emails that come in from Tinker, we want them to come in highlighted in red. So all we do is we just click view just up there, then click on the little arrow just to the right of current view and then click on view settings. Then go down to conditional formatting, left click once there, then click add. And then we what, what we want to do is we want to create a conditional formatting rule. So what we've got to do is we've got to give it a name. So let's just call it Tinker. That would be appropriate. OK, and then what we want to do is we want to set what sort of font style we want or color of font. So we can change the font style as well if we want, but I'm just going to change the color. So I'm going to change the color so that every email from Tinker that comes in comes in in red. So I'm just going to go down to color there, select red, click on OK. And then we need to click on condition just underneath font. So here what we need to do is we need to put in Tinker's email address. So that was at the top of the message. That was T-Y-N-K-E-R at T-Y-N-K-E-R dot com. And then we click on OK. Then we click on OK again and then OK again. And suddenly you'll see all the emails from Tinker are highlighted in red and any new ones that come in will also be highlighted in red. But say, for instance, we wanted emails from a certain company. So they could come from various people in one company or various email addresses in one company. Say if we wanted any emails to, that come through from a particular company to be highlighted in a certain color. So let's just go down. So we've got some here from Microsoft. So what I need to do is I need to find out the email address that's being used. So let's open up the Microsoft email. So let's just move our mouse over who it's from, double left click, and there you go. There's the full email address inside those arrows just there. So it's account hyphen security hyphen no reply at account protection dot Microsoft dot com. So say if I wanted any emails that come through from anything ending in dot Microsoft dot com or Microsoft dot com because I don't really want to type everybody's email address in from Microsoft. So let's just click click on the cross in the top right hand corner there and let's go to current view. Left click once, go down to view settings, left click once and then go down to conditional formatting, left click once and again, create a new rule. So let's click add. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select me font color. So click on font and then click on the color and anything from Microsoft is going to come in, say, blue. And then so click on OK, click on condition. Now, what we can do is here is in the from field, we can just type Microsoft dot com. And that means now that any emails that come in with the email address ending in Microsoft dot com will be highlighted in blue. So let's just click on OK. Let's click on OK again. OK again. And as you will see, if I scroll down, there we go. My Microsoft emails are now highlighted in blue. So there we go. That's a great quick and easy way of color coding your emails that come into your inbox ones that are already in there and as and when they come in. I hope you like this video. And if you did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you're looking for anything technology based, then have a look in the description down below of this video. My Amazon shop is down there. Also, if you're looking for a Fire Stick, a new VPN, a Fire TV Cube or Fire Stick accessories, please consider buying or subscribing through the links down below as donating to this channel or buying or subscribing through those links really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time into researching and bringing you these videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, 
why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some more time and money.